What's up? Um, some people had called and they said that they saw you walk and they were just concerned that you were going to get his. Is everything all right? Yeah, I was supposed to be waiting for my wife to come pick 26. me up. And I have freaking asthma and I can't breathe and she lives down by that store so I had to walk. I'll be out with that mail just north of 9562. 9562. At the end at the store. She lives down there. Uh, what's your wife's name? Uh, Jesse Stevens. Okay. You guys are married? No, we're not. We're in Dennis. Okay. Um, and she's supposed to be coming to pick you up? She said that I've been calling our car 30 times. She was the answer, so I was, I was just... What? Well, I, I know where she lives. Um, do you want me to give you a ride? Please. Or do you need a squad? If you're at, like... She has my if you do, I'll, If you want, just put your butt right here. That way you can sit down and kind of tripod a little bit and catch your breath. Where are you coming from? You're good. Where are you coming from? Me and her got into an argument. Okay. And no one hit each other or nothing like that. We just got, we just got into an argument. And I took off walking down here. And she said she was going to come and get me. Do you want me to call you a squad? To come check you out? I just, I want her to be here. I'll tell you what, how about I call one, they can come check you out. If you don't want to go to the hospital, you don't have to, but at least they can check your vitals, make sure you're good to go. If they need to give you a breathing treatment or something like that, um, they can maybe take you to the hospital or they can give you a breathing treatment. Do you mind, I'll do that, but do you mind, do you have an ID with you so I can just tell my dispatchers who I'm talking to and I'll get one started this way? I don't, I don't need no ambulance. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, like I'm it, fine. She has they, my inhalers. I can breathe. It's, just, it's hot. 26, signal 11. I don't know why I keep trying to tell her to bring her ass here and she don't want to freaking listen. Tom Robert, 038747. Tom Robert, 038747. I'm going to put this back in here for you. I'm on parole and everything. What's the parole for? Uh, just, uh, I, I did some time because I had a registration thing and I messed up for so like many years. sex offender they, registry? Yeah, and they I sent gotcha. me to prison. Okay. And I got out and i am only got four months, three months left and I'm finished with everything. Okay. Who's your PO? Uh, it's some new guy. I, it, in, I don't, in I don't, town? Yeah, in Belfont. I don't have to go check in or nothing like that. Go ahead. So is it like diversion then or something similar or are you on full parole? No, you're I'm just, on parole. I just, just have, almost I don't have to drug test. I don't have to check in. I just have to check in with the sheriff. And he knows where I'm at. He knows I live what? out there. I gave him my number too. He knows my okay. phone number. I don't know why she's not answering. Okay. Do you mind if you give me a ride there? That's fine. Um, before we get in, do you mind if I just pat you down make sure yeah, you don't have anything? Um, this, I have... Um, I, I'm not suicidal or nothing, but okay. I do, there's pocket knives in there. Okay. They're that's little, 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 little tiny ones. Okay, that's but fine. Not, Just put nothing. your hands there, I'll pat you down real quick. Nothing that's going to poke me, stick me, or blow me up or anything, mm -hmm. right? I think I just got my chain on, my rings, and another phone. Just wall a wallet. It. Put this back in here. And I just started my new job. Where are you working? This new place. It's called something. I don't know if in, it's in uh it's in uh you good kitten it's this plastic place called kitten uh they're in my yeah uh not plastic pack no nah, it's not plastic it's, pack or something else I don't know what it's called but we do country we do work out there and her dad he has me cutting stuff cutting trees cutting limbs okay so that's why i have those i work for him in his backyard okay but i'm not I ain't you're fine doing anything right. i'll have you sit in the back i got a bunch of shit up here in the front seat but you sure you don't want a squad i'm sure okay <laughs>
Oh. Hey, how are you? Okay, we want to thank Morgan and Morgan for sponsoring this body cam video. I mean, I think it's pretty clear from the body cams that we cover that it's not always safe out there. When you're hurt, it can be confusing. It can be scary. You don't really know where to turn. Well, Morgan and Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. And at a time when you already have so much to think about, they're going to make it super easy for you. They have completely modernized the process because you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. Also, they have 4,000 support staff that can help you too, which is just amazing to think about. And in terms of price, well, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured and you want to join the over 3 million people that call them every year, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash LCBodyCam or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. You all right? Don't fall over me. Are you all right? Yeah. Um, so I have Marcel in my car. Somebody called in. They were afraid he was walking down 638. They were afraid he was going to get hit. Yeah, I couldn't get this thing to start. I was trying to come and get him. Okay. Why couldn't you get it to start? I don't know. It's a piece of crap. Is he allowed to be here? Yeah. Okay. You're good, man. Are you okay? I offered to get him a squad. He said he thinks he's having an asthma attack. Oh, do you need the inhaler? He needs an inhaler. Marcel, why don't you let me call? This thing is a piece, I, uh, of, piece of crap. Oh, I bit my tongue. Jesse, have you had anything to drink today? No. Have you been doing any drugs or anything like no, that? No, I can tell you she hasn't. We just got into an argument. No. Okay. Because ever since you stepped out of the car, you've been stumbling. You're, you're, you're slurring your words. So. Oh, no. No, I'm not on anything. No. No. Do me a favor. Look up. Okay. Oh, thing's a piece of crap. My what's wrong with the CRV? I, my tongue, I bit it. Go ahead. Oh, you want to answer me? Oh, this is gonna vibrate. I was trying to get this to start. Oh, my mom. The keys were supposed to be brought back to uh, the yeah. CRV, but my dad never showed up. I told him that, and I told him why you can't have mm. CRV. Okay. If you would. My tongue. Start me in a second. Oh, I bit it really bad. So what's going to happen? Well, do you need me to I'm get sorry. a squad for you? Because I'm a little concerned for your health. Sorry. Just give I me know. my inhaler. I did. I gave it to you. I'll stay with my inhaler. I have to look I have to look in here and double check that the keys are not... Okay, well, can you... Give me, can I call my mom? Give me your phone, please. Okay. One second. So damn high. I found the keys. All right. So I'll tell you what. Do me a favor. Yeah. I'm gonna offer you to do some field sobriety tests. Okay. Okay. Do you want to participate in them? Sure. Okay. Because right now, I, I, I'm not too sure you should be driving. 
okay? Okay. Just based on what I'm seeing. Sir, if you want to stand off to the side and watch, that's fine. If you want to just go inside or, or do whatever. <clears throat> Here, man. You drop this. I'm sorry. You're good. Jesse, what I want you to do, yeah. this is this is a pretty flat level area of your yeah. driveway. The gravel is nice and packed. Yeah. So what I want you to do, step back here for me and then face me. Right here. Just right here. That's fine. Right here. Now just face me with your toes together, heels and toes touching, hands down at your sides. Okay, you can put the keys in your pocket. That's fine. So what I'm going to do first is check your eyes, okay? And then after that, we'll have you. I'll have you do a couple other things. I'm gonna have you just turn around. That way, the sun's not in your eyes. Go ahead and turn around for me. All right. Can you see the tip of my finger? Okay. Yep. All right. Just follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and blink if you need to. All right. We're gonna do that again. Okay. You're all right. Sorry, Jesse. <laughs> You're fine. We're going to go nice and slow now, okay? I'm okay. I'll we'll be on a 77. All right. Now we're going to go up. Okay? Okay. Are you normally able to cross your eyes? Cross my eyes? Yeah, like can you cross your eyes? Yes. Okay. I'm going to do a couple of circles with my finger like this, and then I'm going to come in towards your nose. I'm not going to touch your nose, but just try and follow my finger with both your eyes, okay? Are my eyes supposed to cross? Uh, I, that kind of depends on <laughs> the person individually. Some people can, some people can't. Okay. You ready? Okay. Okay. We're going to do that again. That's kind of nauseating, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ready? Okay. All right, Jesse. Now what I want you to do, go ahead and turn around again. What I want you to do, put your feet together like you had them, hands down at your sides. When I tell you to begin, I'm going to have you lean your head back like this, gently close your eyes, and when you think that 30 seconds has passed, I want you to lean your head up, open your eyes, and say stop. Okay, so when I say begin, just lean your head back, gently close your eyes, and when you think 30 seconds has passed, I want you to lean your head up, open your eyes, and say stop. Do you understand that? Yeah. Go ahead and lean your head back, close your eyes, and begin.
So what I want you to do now is how you're standing, just take your right foot and place it in front of your left with your right heel touching your left toe and keep your hands at your sides. My right heel touching my Yes, ma'am. Just toe. just like how I'm doing, just like that. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Now keep your hands at your sides and don't move from that position until I tell you otherwise. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps in a straight line right here. At the end of that nine steps, you're going to take a series of small steps around your front foot. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps back in a straight line where you came from. I'll demonstrate it for you. You're standing like this. You're going to go one, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. If this is your front foot, you're going to take a series of small steps like this around your front foot, and your first step back will be one, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. Do you understand that? Okay. Is there any other medical issues that keep you from, like, walking, balancing, or anything like that? Okay. Um, so while you're doing the test, I want you to count your steps out loud, keep your hands at your sides, look down at your feet, and don't stop until you've completed the test. Do you understand all those instructions? Yeah, and I do nine. Correct. Go ahead and begin. Not looking at their feet. Not counting out loud. Nine. Does it matter which way I turn? Just as I instructed you. I forget which way you told me to turn. Improper turn. It's a reverse pivot. Offline on five. Okay. Now, the next one, I want you to put your feet back together, hands at your sides. And I'm going to have you raise either foot of your choosing when I tell you to begin. I'm going to have you raise your foot about six inches off the ground, okay? I want you to keep your foot parallel with the ground so your toe pointed straight out. And I want you to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? I'll demonstrate it for you. You're standing like this. You can raise either foot. I'm going to raise my right one. You're going to go 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. You understand that? Yeah. While you're doing the test, I want you to keep your hands at your sides, look down at your raised foot, count out loud, and keep your legs nice and straight, okay? Yeah. Give me one second. Okay, go ahead and begin. 1,001. Foot across me, foot off the ground, toe pointed three. up. <laughs> foot down at three. This one might be hard because I'm going to buy it. Okay. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,008. Okay. So, Jesse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to place you under arrest, okay? Because right now I believe that you're impaired, and you were behind the wheel of a motor vehicle getting ready to go get him, okay? Well, but I believe that you are. I, I can get two fingers in there, okay? So just leave your hands together like that, palms facing each other. What's that? What's this mean? I don't understand. This means she's going to go to the jail with me. Okay. I mean, I, know, okay. I don't know the charges. I don't, I don't get it. I don't or, know why she failed it. Well, based on what I saw is what why she failed it, okay? And I, I could include all the reasons why, but just based on my training and experience, she's impaired. Well, okay. She is. I don't know shit about it, but what the fuck do I do? What do I do? Alright, come over here for me. This is crazy. I don't know. Do you have anything on you that I need to be worried about? No. Okay, I'm just going to check your pocket here. I'm going to use the back of my hand to check your front pockets. Just car keys. Okay. Go ahead and have a seat for me. Do you want the car keys left here? Um, well, I don't really know. Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay. Well, they're on you, so I'm just going to leave them with you then, okay? All right. 
Watch your leg. Marcel, here's the deal. Um, so here, here's the deal. She's going to go to the jail. Um, I'm going to figure up what I'm all charging her with. Right now it's going to be um, physical control of a motor vehicle. It's similar to an OVI. Um, it's not the same, but it's the same kind of charge. Okay. Um, do you know if she does drugs or has I, she ever done drugs around you? I've never. No. Okay. Well, right now that's what's going to happen. Her? What do you need to say? I just, I just need to know what I need to do, man. Her dad's gone. Okay. Fuck! Jesse, is he allowed to be here? I think that's what he's curious. Is he supposed to be here? Does your dad know he's here? Well, yes and no. Okay. Because I know there's been some issues in the past um, with him and at least the one boyfriend that I know of. But um, yeah. if he's not supposed to be here, he's wanting to know what he's supposed to do or where he's supposed to go. Well, I kind of... Is there anywhere I can call my dad? Yeah, I mean, I can facilitate that. What Do you know his number off the top of your head? Yeah. Okay, let me get my phone real quick, okay? okay. Marcel, we're going to try and get it figured out real quick, okay? Is that Mike? Yes. That's who I'm getting ready to call. Oh, hold on. Here he is. I, that kid was talking earlier. He was gone. Hi, Mike. This is Logan from the sheriff's <laughs> office. How are you? Okay. Well, so here's here's what's going on. Um, I picked up a guy named Marcel on State Route 638. He was kind of walking along the road. Some people had called in and expressed concern that they were afraid he was going to get hit. Thought it was a little suspicious, but um, I'm okay. I have a female 21. Um, but... So I brought him here. He said his his fiance is is Jesse. So she was supposed to be coming to pick him up um, after they got into a fight. And when I pulled in the driveway, she was in the suburban with the keys in the ignition, eating a bowl of cereal. And sh I believe that she's under the influence of some sort of drugs or alcohol. She's uh, all. They stayed up all night arguing. Okay. When they, that's what he, that's what he said. Um, she is extremely tired, I know. Well, and I just ran her through some field sobriety tests, and she did not perform very well, um, which being being tired won't really affect, you know, walking and balancing. Um, well, and there's some you're other... Not, what's you're that? not leaving, leave him to my house. Well, that's that's why I was I was actually getting ready to call you. She she wanted to call you, um, and Marcel's here wondering, like, what he's, what he's supposed to do. And I know that supposed to get off my property. Okay, because I I've been out here before with one of her ex boyfriends, and I think you remember me yeah. from that. Uh, so I didn't uh, know if this was a similar situation where you know if he's not supposed to be here, you know we need to facilitate him leaving. Yep. Okay. Oh, I don't want him at my place at all. He's, okay. he's done nothing but be bad to her. I'm, I mean, he's, he's a control freak. He won't even get a job because he can't stand to be away from her. He wants to have her right under his thumb where he can watch every move she makes. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I know that she's, uh, uh she might have smoked some weed. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh. Well, she's got some, that. she's got some white powder residue in her nose, too, so. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure um, exactly what it is, but I have to well, inquire a little bit further about that. So why are you taking her in? Uh, because she was behind the wheel. She said she was getting ready to leave to go pick him up. She had the keys in the car, so it's going to be a physical control. It's similar to an OVI. Uh, but then when we get to the jail, um, I don't know what all I will find out. But it, she may have other charges depending on that. But right now it's physical control of the motor vehicle. So, um, I just, like I said, I wanted to touch base with you since you're the homeowner, and I, I knew that there's been some, some issues here before with, with her guests. So, I, yeah, I told her before, I said, no more, nobody is to stay here ever. Okay. You won't listen. <laughs> well, I appreciate Can I you. talk to her or not? Um, if it's going to be something that's conducive to a... A, a good outcome. I, I don't want to hand you the hand her the phone and, and you just yell at her. No, I'm not gonna yell at her. 
Okay, give me one second. Do you mind? No, I was just going to say, can I stand there? I'm going to block that instead. Yeah, I don't mind. Well, Jesse, this is your dad. Yeah. He's on speakerphone. Yeah. So. Let me know as soon as possible what the bail is. Yeah, because this, this guy is saying that I'm impaired. I'm not impaired, obviously. I don't drink. I don't do none of that. I don't know. I told him I had back surgery, and um, I said some of the things that you're having me do, I may not be able to do because of my back. Yeah. And right. I, I don't know. This is crazy. I don't crazy. want to believe it. Is the house locked up? But I don't want him there. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if the uh, front door is unlocked or locked or whatnot. I don't know. Mike, the, I don't, what was your name? Robin. Robin said that she's going to lock the house up or she'll make sure that it's locked if you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. And my, okay. like. All right, well, I'm going to pass the phone back to Robin, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry. No, that's Just, okay. I don't know him. Can you make sure I don't get attacked as I'm doing this stuff? Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, okay. So, Marcel, okay. here's the here's the deal. Mike says he doesn't want you here. Okay. Um, I don't know where you're gonna go. I can call or somebody. Where you can go. Okay. I, I'll um, call for my brother to come pick me up. I mean, you're, there's a park right here. You're more than welcome to yeah. walk to the park and okay. and hang out there. Um, I don't know where all my, my actual all my stuff is, so I can make sure if it's here, she can maybe bring it to me whenever she gets out or whatever happens. I, I'm okay with that. You can come back here, right here in the in her pocket. Do you? Does he want them left? Yeah, they're just staying with her if he doesn't want them left here. I'm just gonna get these okay, well back. I can't. The front door is locked, so I can't hang in there. But there you go. he wants to ask you where his stuff is, Jesse. This is crazy, Jesse. Um, Jesse, listen to me, man, for real. Look at me. Yeah. I'm sorry this shit happened, bro. This shit's fucking ridiculous. We should not be fucking fighting like this at fucking four in the morning, man. We gotta stop this shit. I didn't mean for this shit to this happen, man. That's crazy, man. I'm gonna fuck you with handcuffs. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Look at me. Just look at me. Are you gonna ask her about your stuff? This is yeah, just where, ridiculous, look, man. What are you gonna do with my face? You gonna stay here until something? Well, or you're have to obviously, take it? yeah. Or just, I guess, just, just take it. So uh, at this point, I don't even care. This is crazy. I should be in handcuffs. I know. I didn't ask for this shit. I didn't even do anything. All right. What do you want me to do with your phone? Sir, I do have a question. Will I go to the um, jail and will someone pick me up or something like that? Uh, some of that kind of depends on what all I find out when I'm talking to you at the jail. Okay. So, I mean, we still got a couple other things to do when we get there, but. All right. One more thing. Uh, is this, are we done for it? Can we not talk yeah, about we're not, this we're right not going to host the Maury show. All right, I'll, I'll just wait. My bad. So, I pick him up. He says he's been he's been walking. They got into a fight. Um, I, that I I have no idea. Um, I don't know if you hold this. It has some of my stuff in it, Carmex and some of my medicine, my inhaler. Well, I mean, if if it's your inhaler, you can take it. Well, otherwise, because I, I can take the purse with me okay, if it's her I'll, belongings. Right. Where's your inhaler? Do you want it? Um, or is it with your jacket in this car? Because uh, your sweatshirt's in this car, too. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm you're sorry. good. Well, I was going to say, get the rest of your stuff out of here, and it might be with that. But... He says they've been fighting all night. Um, huh? He does have some stuff over here in the corner, or there was stuff. All of his stuff was out here this morning. And he was moving it that way, and he started walking. Okay. That's when he started walking, so I knew she had kicked him out. <laughs> um, yeah, there's but two of them. I, 
I pick him up. I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll just give you a ride. He, he's like falling over. Oh, hold on, I'm going to talk to one of them. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah, uh, that Marcel guy, he's on parole. And uh, bottom line, I don't want him up my house. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm making him aware of that right now. So he's, he's trying to make some arrangements to get a couple of his things that he has uh, out of the purse of your daughter and I guess the car that somebody had set him in. But um, he's going to be walking to the park and calling for a ride. Yeah, I didn't. <clears throat> he was supposed to already be gone when I left. Yeah, I had started to leave and then came back because they were having issues. And uh, I thought he had already left because all his stuff had disappeared and he hadn't put it in any of my vehicles. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, he has like a, a sweatshirt and some like little pocket knives and his inhaler and stuff like that. But um, he's he's getting all that together now, and we'll make sure that he gets off the property before we split. Well, he had a ton of clothes there. Well, I mean, he's not gonna be able to carry him. The the shoelace express doesn't have much cargo room, so um, there is a chance that he will have to come back. But if he does. Because, you know, you yeah. can't hold his things, but if he does, you can just ask us to come out and we can stand by while he gets his stuff and then he can leave. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to deny him anything as that is. Okay. But, no, and that, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that you will. I'm just saying if he does and you want us here to just facilitate that transit transaction, that's fine, too. Yeah. Alrighty. All righty. Uh, All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. So... <clears throat> Pull in here on my head. Just sit tight. I'm gonna run up. And make sure that you're allowed to be here since he told me that they were fighting all night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just told him. Like he he said he'll he's not gonna keep any of your stuff from you. He just wants to be here when you get it. So I told him whenever you come back, he can just call us and we can come out and make sure that there's no issues and you can get your stuff. And he said that's that's perfectly fine. So. Um, yeah, just I would just say you're good, and once you have your stuff, you're fine to, to okay. split. Um, right. But he's, he wants to make sure that you know you're not supposed to be here unless he says so. Okay. So, totally all righty. Um, this is his, by the way. I'm going to leave him on the porch. This is not mine. Okay. 26. Can you check and see who that mail's on paper with? Give them a 19 see what what they want us to do um so i go knock on the door no answer door flies open on the suburban and she's like hey sir i'm like what's going on jesse she's like i was just getting ready to go pick marcel up I'm like slurring her words bad just holding a bowl of cereal as she steps out she's like stumbles into the door i'm like i don't i don't know as though you should be driving What's going on? So he gets out. They're talking. So as she's talking, I'm, I see white powder all over her nose. I'm like, look up for me. She's like, I haven't been drinking. She looks up. Her whole nostrils just coated in white powder. And so I ran her through the field sobriety. She did not well. And um, I told her she was being placed under arrest. And, you know, that's when I mean, he's not been an issue. Okay. But it's just kind of like, yeah. uh, I don't know. He's on parole, but he doesn't remember his parole officer's number because he went to prison for uh, sex offender registry violations. And he said he's got like three or four months left. He Like he never has to check in. He just has to call the sheriff's office. So I doubt that they want anything done with him. Anyways. Yeah, his, his ID says Lewistown. What's his last name? Uh, Shazer. Marcel D'Angelo Shazer or something like that. All this stuff went back in my house or not because they had packed it all this morning and i seen it as soon as i got up it was all sitting out here i mean if it's not in here it's probably back in the house because i i picked him up and he had nothing okay the officer said he picked him up and he had nothing so i'm gonna run her in i i'm kind of curious about the powder but i don't know how i can without her cooperation Probably not. I don't know. 
I haven't asked yet. 4,600. Can you also check and see if the Stevens subject is on paper? Okay. He's on paper with Sturgeon. I don't think I have his number. I might. I tried Chris and Angie, they didn't answer, so I'm just going to run her in, I at least. Jesse, are you on paper? No. You're not? No. Okay. Didn't you just get out of prison not too long ago, or did you... About did you, nine months ago. You just did all your time? Yep. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for coming up. I didn't really know. I didn't know what I had at first. They started talking. I was just like, I just sent me somebody else, because I thought I was going to have more of an issue when I put eyes on her. Thank you, Robin.